dive deep inside. Underwater Sharks have been around a very long time. Based on fossil scales found in Australia and the United States, scientists hypothesize sharks first appeared in the ocean around 455 million years ago. Jellyfish could be older than dinosaurs. Jellyfish have no bones, so fossils are hard to come by. Nevertheless, scientists have evidence these creatures have been bobbing along in the world's oceans for at least 500 million years. In fact, it's likely the jellyfish lineage goes back even further, possibly 700 million years. Jellyfish are 98% water. The human body is composed of 60% water and the jellyfish is 98%. When they wash ashore, they can disappear after just a few hours, their bodies promptly evaporating into the air. They have a rudimentary nervous system, a loose network of nerves located in the epidermis called a nerve net, and no brain. They also don't have a heart, their gelatinous bodies are so thin they can be oxygenated solely by diffusion. Although more commonly associated with tropical waters, Coral reefs have been found in temperatures as low as 4 degrees Celsius and depths of 2,000 meters. These deep-sea corals don't rely on photosynthesis to survive like their warm-water counterparts, instead, they feed solely on food particles from the surrounding water. Lionfish were thought to be the most venomous fish until recent years when stonefish stole the title. These conspicuous fish have venomous dorsal, anal, and pelvic spines covered by a loose sheath that moves down and compresses venom glands when the spine punctures tissue. Most eels live in the shallow waters of the ocean and burrow into sand, mud, or amongst rocks. Some species of eels also live in deeper water on the continental shelves and over the slopes deep as 4,000 meters feet. There are also freshwater eels living in rivers and lakes. An octopus has three hearts. One pumps blood through its organs, the two others pump blood through its gills, according to the World Animal Foundation. Octopus blood is blue because it has a copper-based protein called hemocyanin. Octopuses can also change color to hide and match their surroundings. They can turn blue, gray, pink, brown or green. The mimic octopus can also flex its body to resemble more dangerous animals, such as eels and lionfish, according to the World Animal Foundation. Hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe.